let's create a travel website in WordPress. And I'm going to use the WP Travel Engine Travel and Tour Booking plugin from WP Engine. I'm not affiliated with WP Engine. I'm not affiliated with anything I mentioned in this video, anybody or anything. First, before I've already gone ahead and installed the uh, plugin, but first let me point out, I, my uh, instance of WordPress is running on Docker. And if you wish to know more about how to do that, I'll leave a link uh, to a video that I found in the uh, show notes below. Okay, let's go back to WordPress. And once WP Travel Engine is installed, there will be these two tabs here, Trips and WP Travel Engine. Let's go into Trips. And you can see I've already created quite a few here. Well, three. Let me create one more so we can walk through this. And this is going to be a Panama cruise. I'm getting ready to go on a Panama cruise and why not? Let's do uh, 15 days and, and nights. I'm having trouble. I have to look around my microphone here. I can't type and if I can't see my keyboard. Uh, or yeah, the 15 days, 15 nights. Uh, cutoff time. No, we're going to leave this open. And we can keep moving my big head out of the way here. Save and continue. Thought I did. And let's add a new package. This will be the Panama Cruise. It's going to pricing adults. Let's see, uh, is it twenty five hundred? Not quite sure what this means. Men packs. Let's say four, or let's say one, and then max will be four. Get, then again, I'm not sure what this means just yet. Okay, a child. Let's knock 500 off. And again, one and four. And then group. Number of people? I'm not sure. Let's do 1,500 per person. And minimum of, say, 20 people. And a max of 30. If this means what I think it means. People. I'm not sure. Dates. is always open. Short description. Uh, cruise. Well, after the price, you'd probably be crying. Let's cruise through the historic. Wow. Panama Canal. Save and close here. All right. What's next? Continue. Not going to put any extra services. Trip overview. Again, cruise through the historic Panama Canal. Let's copy that with my use it again and again. Trip highlights, scenery. See, we've got um, 
Mayan temples, Panama Canal, obviously. Save and continue. What do they call that? Embarkation day. That's what it is. Check in. You want to, if you've not already booked your amenities like the your spas, your your uh, massages or anything, by once you um, get on the ship, go to the purser's office or the purser's desk and book these things because they book up fast. Um, we found out in this booking that some of these, um, like the massages, they were booked six months prior. So people are booking them on from their last cruise. It, that's how fast they're filling up. Um, go to purse, is it purser's desk? Let's see here. Thank goodness for, let's say purser's I think it's not that. I think it's that. Check in. Go through. Safety briefing. Day two. Sail away. At sea. Take a tour of the ship. Book your uh, um, spa, massage. And let's move on. Okay. And... What included, depending on your package, and let's just move on. Cost excludes again depends on your. Oh, just go down here, and let's just put excludes because I can't come up with anything better. It's six o'clock in the morning, and let's go save and continue. Trip information. What? To expect departure city Galveston, Texas, and arrival city San Francisco. Mm. Let's just go with those two for right now. Save and continue, and let's add. That's good. Those are Alaskan, so that's the only one I have right now. Video gallery, I don't have a video. Let's move on. I don't have a map. FAQs. Very imaginative. FAQs. When did the construction of the Panama Canal actually start? It was started by France. Let's go to Wikipedia. And I believe the France started construction in 18... 81. Let's put that in. That is for my docker. And 1881. And let's see, when did the U.S. took over construction in, I don't know. I have to look at Wikipedia. I need to, come on fingers work with me the u.s continued to control or let's see took over the project may 4th 1904 and construction was completed again wikipedia i think it was august of where did i see that august 15th 1914 it was officially opened not sure if it was completed. Let's say the Panama Canal was opened. Was opened. And let's save and continue. Now, there's a great documentary about the Panama Canal on YouTube. And if I find the link, I'll put it in the show notes. Let's continue. Okay, this is just going to loop. And let's publish. And view the trip. And let's go 
really no good way to put where to put my big head. Okay. You know what? Let's get rid of me. And we have our page here. Somebody can make an inquiry. We didn't have to do anything to enable that. Very nice. Let's go to all trips. And you know what? We need a... Let's put a feature in it. Uh, let's go back here to Panama Cruise. Go back to edit trip. And let's make sure we fill in this information. Panama. Cruise. Featured image. Let's go with that one. It's going to be a default because it's the best quality right now. And... Difficulty is easy. It could be adventure cruise. Oh, that's another category. Forgot to do that one. Update and preview. Okay. Go back to all trips. There's a featured image. Now let's go back to the dashboard and let's go through destinations. So we already filled in that. Let's go to activities. What else can we add for Panama? Actually, let's go local cuisine. I guess that's with an I. That's what I'm going to go with. And let's put the slug. I just started the just putting lowercase hyphen. Don't know if that's right or not. Let's go um, enjoy local cuisine. Oh, I guess it wasn't right. Is it spelled with a Z? Mm -hmm. Let's go with that. And add. Okay, let's go trip type. Now, cruise, hiking, resort. Mm, let's just leave it that. Difficulty. I'm going to just accept the defaults. Tags, group tour, guided tour, private tour, self-guided tour. I'll just leave that. And I added the group pricing category. Custom filters. Let's see, what is that filter category label? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to play around with that. Let's go into the WP Travel Engine. And this will fill in as soon as people start booking on the site. I have a coupon. I created a holiday schedule. You'll start building out your email list. Or your, is that what that was? Oh, the bookings. All the inquiries that will come in. That's what you see on those pages. That form on the pages. Uh, the trip pages. That's where this will start end up at. Extensions. There's a whole bunch of extensions that we can um, install, but most of these are all paid extensions. So let's look at the uh, the details of this one. And I'm not going to pay that for doing a demo. It might be advantageous to... Uh, for you if you're a travel agency or you you're running this as a business but this is just a demo so i'm not going to install that but you can see that there's a whole bunch of um, extensions that you could go through okay let's get out of that and go back to our wordpress and the themes 
there are um, a lot of nice things here by WP Engine. There's a free version and there's a pro version. Now, when you uh, go to get this thing, this will download it. It'll send you a link in your email and then you could download it. Uh, I run into the for the 413 413 error uh, file size is too large when I tried to import it and I tried the trick uh, or not tricks but um, adding uh, increasing the size in my functions.php as well as in the ph I couldn't do it in the PHP I and I because on docker is a different setup but I was able since it's if you have access to do FTP or uh, copy and paste or copy over, I chose to copy it from my downloads and move it into my uh, themes directory under WordPress. And then I could import that way. But just the simple download and go through the, uh, um, let's, well, let me go out first, start rambling on. Instead of installing it this way, had new, I just copied it over into the theme directory and I was able to work with it. For some odd reason, um, I have to look into this more, but on, on Docker, I couldn't, I don't know where the php.ini file is. I'll have to look that up. I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not a professional uh, WordPress person. All right, let's go back into WP Engine and go in our settings or plugin license. We don't have any plugins in this demo. So that's where that would appear. Let's go into settings. And security, that's a good thing. But for right now, this I'm going to shut this down after this video. That's the nice thing about Docker. You can just bring it up and shut it down when you don't need it anymore. It's great for doing demos. Thank you.